Hello Squirrels and welcome to PPM6 TV. Today what it is is the vexed question of Thunderbolt audio on Windows PCs. Now I presume that for most of us it's not a vexed question and you got this working years ago and you're not really sure what I'm on about but for me um, it's been a relatively recent journey and uh, although not a difficult one it wasn't without its small pitfalls so I thought why don't we just do a little video about it um, explaining some of my problems. Well uh, to start with, I got one of these. This is um, an ASRock Z270 Super Carrier motherboard. Well, that isn't the motherboard, obviously, it's the manual. Um, and uh, I've got an unboxing and a, and a building the system video. And uh, one of the th reasons I bought it was because it had dual Thunderbolt uh, options on the back panel. You didn't need to add in a card uh, like some of the some of the motherboards. It had it all built in. And I just thought to myself, I'd like that because I've used Thunderbolt on my Mac laptop and it's very straightforward and it seems like a good thing to have. Why not have future proof of system and uh, have it available there for, for the PC too? And of course, in the time has gone by and I've never used it. Um, but more recently, I bought a Motu uh, 112D, which there's also a couple of videos about, which is just, can I just give it a plug? It's a marvellous bit of kit. I bought it because it's got uh, MADI, it's got AVB, it's got tons of ADAT, but it also has Thunderbolt. And sure enough, I plug that into my Mac and no problem at all, all hunky-dory. So anyway, the time came, I thought, right, I'm going to um, connect this to the PC and uh, make a start. And of course, what I had not factored in at all was that uh, Intel, in their wisdom, had gone from uh, um, the mini display port connector, which is on my Mac laptop, it shows you how old my Mac laptop is, to um, uh, one of these, which is the standard USB 3. And so I needed to buy a converter to get from one to the other. Now, um, I'm a tight fisted so and so. So when I found that these were, this is a standard Apple product. They were well over fifty pounds. I <clears throat> I just put it to one side. I thought I'm not going to pay fifty quid when I can plug my Motu in on USB <clears throat> without a problem. But in the end, it kind of wore, the problem wore me down, and um, so I'll do a nice little cutaway of that now. You can have a look at the connectors on either end. And um, for that, I paid second hand forty quid. That's fifty dollars. But um, they're they're much in demand. There are more expensive options. Um, but I thought I'd get the Apple one because I was pretty sure it would work. So I did, and I plugged the Motu in one end and uh, plugged the other end into the motherboard. And hey presto, on the front panel of the Motu, I saw this, indicating that uh, it was seeing a Thunderbolt connection. However, no audio to be seen or heard. Um, so scratching my head, and I, you'll say this is obvious, but I suddenly thought, Maybe I need some drivers. Well, um, I downloaded the latest Motu drivers, which have got all the Windows stuff in there. Um, that didn't seem to make any difference. Couldn't seem to see any um, uh, Thunderbolt devices. So I went on to the motherboard uh, webpage, and there I found the Intel downloads for the Thunderbolt um, controller. I uh, ran that up and then restarted the computer plugged in the Motu and bingo, as you can see on the screen, audio in, audio out, no problem at all. So I have finally, after many, many years, joined the ranks of um, Windows uh, Thunderbolt users. Um, there's not much to say other than I'm afraid you are going, if you've got, um, if you've got a modern mother motherboard like mine, you are going to have to shell out for this and you are then going to have to download the drivers. Simple message really, but since I've been doing that, great fun. That's all for today. Thanks for joining PPM6 TV. See you again soon. Bye for now.